Okay, as you guys have probably figured out, we're Pastor Jonathan's kids, and he wanted us to record a video explaining to you guys how we grew up and just the dynamics of our family. I'm Maddie. I'm Sam. I'm Sarah. Nathan. Okay, so Dad gave us a list of questions that he wants us to answer, so we're just going to talk about it and see where it goes. So, where are you living these days? Right here. The basement. <laughs> yeah, okay. I uh, live in Greeley, Colorado with my wife. And I live in Alabama right now going to college at University of North Alabama. Okay, what is your favorite thing about Colorado? I like Colorado for all the sunshine we get because a lot of places don't get to have a lot of sunshine. Okay, my favorite thing about Colorado is just that my family is here, mm -hmm. so. Well, that impression. Yeah. Okay. But what kinds of stuff are we all into these days? Well, I started trading items, which is always fun. I have a podcast. Plug better than never. <laughs> better than never. Better than never. I work at the church in BK, and I'm also doing sports, football, baseball right now. He's the world's best video game player. Oh yeah. yeah. No. He's an time. absolute unit. <laughs> <laughs> Just plow. Er, no. Plow. <laughs> In one word, describe your individual personalities. This is one word to describe Maddie. Caring. Loyal. Late. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one word to describe Sarah would probably be inspiring. Beautiful. Servant's heart. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. One word to describe Nate. He's funny. He's relatable. He's hashtag relatable. Okay, he wants to know what our funniest or weirdest moment with a res church member is. And he said specifically to not use names. Okay, well I don't even know their names. They just come up and give me hugs and stuff and they're like, Oh my gosh, Sarah, you're so old! Yeah. Okay, well like, us three have like all worked at the table, the coffee shop at one point or another. People will come up and like start talking to you. Y you know, you have to like take their names down for orders. Like, after yeah. they're like, how's college? How's everything? And then you're like, sorry. Can I get a name? <laughs> uh, what's your favorite family vacation? Oh, Brazil. That was a good one. Yeah, that same for me actually. Really? Brazil is, dude, Brazil, Brazil so was fun. so fun. We all went to Disney World and we went with our grandma. It was yeah. awesome because it was one of the last times we ever got to hang out with her before she was diagnosed with cancer, but it was so great because we all got to spend a lot of time with her. She was crazy too. She was like 70 and she was riding like she a rock went, and roller coaster. Yeah, and stuff. she went on all the rides that I would like, go on. I'm surprised she didn't break. Like, I was like, <laughs> Dude, that, that was, was so vacation. sick. We all wore matching t-shirts. So. Yeah. Oh yeah. We were that family. <laughs> what is the last fight you remember having in our family? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Fight? I don't yeah. remember any of them. That is weird. Well, like I used to think that we or... fought all the time. Yeah, I know, same. <laughs> I do remember like a really long argument that we had about like if you stand up, is is your lap still there? <laughs> oh my god! We <laughs> oh were arguing about whether or not a lap is a body part. We <laughs> argued about that for hours. Yeah. Oh, wait, it one of the so arguments cheesy. that we used was like, okay, well your hand is part of your body, and when you do this, it makes a fist, and so you looked it up and. A fist is a body part, apparently. And so that was the argument for that. Wait, a lap is? is a body part. But we never reached the conclusion. Yeah, so, it was so yeah. Hard, but... Okay, <laughs> we're, we're reopening wounds. Okay, okay, okay let's stop. <laughs> What's something about mom that Church doesn't know? Mom? mom? Mom is actually one of the most funny people I know. She has two full time jobs she yeah. is a mother and she is she manages the coffee shop, which is. I bet very stressful. <laughs> so she kind of goes unappreciated sometimes, but I'm telling you, she does more for the church and more for you guys than than Dad. <laughs> yeah, when Dad's home, he's sitting in that lazy boy recliner right there on his iPad. When Mom's home, she's doing everything in the house. Yeah, uh, yeah that's another thing that Dad asks. Like, what's something about Dad that the church doesn't know? Being the youngest child is hard, and he's the only one in the family that gets that, so he's really supportive with that. Okay, he's told the story about him falling off the car when he's putting <laughs> the luggage on there. I was there to witness that, and that was, I'm not gonna say it was the best day of my life, but that was such a funny moment for me. It was the second best day of her life. <laughs> when she became a Christian was number one. Yeah. <laughs> they all mock him all the time. Make fun of him. So much for <laughs> This one is specifically for me and you, Sarah. How has our relationship changed since I left for college? I think having time apart shows us like that we kind of need each other. Oh, that oh. sounds so <laughs> sappy. Okay, coming back to see all of y'all like in Louisiana for Thanksgiving, it 
Like, I don't think I really fought with any of y'all. It was more like y'all were just listening to me talk on and on about college, and that was, you know, perfect. But, like, my relationship with my family has gotten a lot stronger. Being away from them really does make you realize, like, how important they are to you, because, you know, they're blood and they're always going to be there. But what kinds of rules do we have at the Wiggins house? I feel like we don't have that many rules, which is, like, it makes you feel trusted by Yeah. Them. Not as many rules as there are just expectations. Yeah. So just conduct yourself in a polite manner. People who hang out <laughs> with our family always say oh my gosh I have like the nicest family and like to us we're like we fight all the time yeah. <laughs> even like getting physical with each other we don't like hit each other yeah. and stuff if we like <laughs> okay like playfully I like hit Sam a lot but <laughs> <laughs> and that said if there's not many rules then what values are important to our family friendship honesty, honesty yeah. yeah it's always been where if you bring something to mom and dad. I haven't always been the best at this, but if you bring somebody to mom and dad before they like find out, the punishment, I guess, is always so much lower. Like, you know, it's, it's always turns out to be better and, and just yeah. letting light in the situation. Yeah. Well, for me, I know that I'm always gonna trust my family with like anything, if I need to tell them something, if I become poor, <laughs> which will never happen. <laughs> I know that they'll probably provide for me. Okay, I've always thought about like, dad could have turned out like his dad oh, and yeah. like treated us the same way but he like totally flipped his life around and like like we would not be sitting here making this video if dad didn't like make the decision to forgive. I think forgiveness is a big value. That's yeah. what our family's based on. That's like why, that's literally why we're here. What is it like to be mom and dad's kids? So like as pastor's kids or just in general like what's it like being around them as parents? I really like how I can just go up to them and talk about my day and like Bible class is usually really fun for me and I get to enjoy talking about it with them. Yeah, but also it's kind of funny being a pastor's kid going to res because <laughs> everyone knows like kind of who you are. Even our Bible teachers will like, I bet Wiggins knows or you know, yeah, like that. Like, although, they expect us to know. No, they'll say, so what would your dad think about this? <laughs> yeah, uh, I have no It's like, I'm not my dad, but <laughs> kind of relating to that, how has it been to be a family in ministry? Okay, I think it's really cool because we get to go a lot of places, like when dad gets to preach at other like cities and stuff. I think we can travel a lot more. Two examples of that are when we went to California and then when we went to Brazil. When we went to California, we saw Skid Row and it's just so sad. Your heart just breaks for the people and, you, it, and it really makes you want to do something about it and not just sit on your butt and be lazy. What's something that mom or dad always says? One thing that my mom always says to us like before we go hang out with friends and stuff is to never forget who we are. We kind of carry a name with us, which is true. I mean, we go places all the time and, and people are like, oh my gosh, you're a Wiggins kid. We're in a family of pastors and we have a really great legacy and that's not something that we want to ruin. Something dad and mom both did when we were kids, they would always pray for us at night and they would always ask God to bless us with wisdom and favor. And that was something that I specifically remember. Is there a meaningful story or event you remember from your family experience? I mean, just something that we do every year, like with the Christmas letters. That's always like, basically my favorite time of year is when we read our Christmas letters out loud to everyone. It's where you show your real innards. <laughs> yeah. I mean, no, your wait. Emotions. Yeah, your deepest, deepest emotions. emotions. I actually keep my le all my letters that I get on my headboard. Whenever I'm just really sad, I go in into my room and read them. Are you gonna cry? Oh, oh, no. He's still warm. <laughs> oh, he's still warm. Okay, what can our family do better? There's not a lot we could do better. <laughs> we're basically we're the best. We're, we're yeah. pretty much like the best. We're an we Instagram fam. <laughs> I think every family probably struggles with this nowadays, but just putting your phone down and being able to look each other in the eyes and and actually have a real one-on-one -on -one communication, not just like talking to your phone. What does our family do well? We always make sure to defend each other. Yeah. It's like we can pick on each other, like. But, but if anyone else, else picks on yeah. us, oh, <laughs> you better watch out. I feel like we're all talented in different ways. All of us are such individuals and have our own skills and talents. Like she's a dancer. I played sports in high school. Sam's really good at video games and sports. Maddie's really well-rounded. So she has a lot of different little talents. She's a renaissance woman. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I like that one. Maddie's the smartest in the family. She scored the highest on the ACT. So far. So far. I'm coming for you, Maddie. <laughs> nah, there's no hope for me. <laughs> no, 
I think one thing that we all do really well is we all like support each other's dreams. No matter like how far out there they are, we're like, dude, you could definitely do that. That's yeah. crazy. I think that's another thing though, like how we were raised. I feel like so many of my friends are like, they have such a set thing that they want to do. It's such a reasonable dream that I feel uncomfortable telling them my dream. <laughs> Subscribe to Better Nate Than Never. <laughs> Subscribe to Mad Big. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed listening to what we all had to say. It's been fun. <laughs>